Do you have any vendors right now that are energy vampire sucking vendors? or just a listing that's not moving, not moving forward or making progress, you may wanna check out this episode. So guys, welcome. We're talking a little bit about vendors in this marketplace that uh, seem to suck the energy out of you, or are you right now not jumping out of bed and loving your work? Meaning that you're not super excited, ready to go and ready to crush it because you've got these listings that are just not moving anywhere. So I wanna share with you something that has helped me. How often are you reviewing, maybe analyzing or scoring some of your listings? In this type of market today, you wanna to be doing that every seven days. And this is what we do with our clients every time. So we can make sure there's a level of progress and that listing is moving forward and getting one step closer to a sale. So the first thing I wanna share with you is this. This is I learned old school, okay? And I'm just gonna draw this here and I'm just gonna draw some numbers here all the way. And I'm just gonna, and this is how we're gonna score and review. Zero, one, two. First thing I want you to think about is motivation. Like, let's be honest. Motivation is everything in this marketplace when you're dealing with a seller. If they're not motivated, guess what? You're gonna be stuck with a listing that's not gonna go anywhere. So if this vendor or Mr. or Mrs. Seller is absolutely motivated, you're gonna give them two points. If they're sort of like half motivated, maybe thinking about, looking and selling and buying a property, give yourself a one. And if they're the type of client that says, hey Claudio, we don't need to sell, we're not in a rush, give them a big fat donut, it's a zero. So let's just say this particular client might have two because they've bought and they're under financial stress because they've got bridging finance and they need to move. That's what we call a highly motivated client. The next thing you wanna look at is price, right? In this market, it's all about the sweet spot. You need to price your properties in that sweet spot. If it is, you're gonna give yourself two points. If it's three to 5% away from the sweet spot, give yourself one. And if it's 5% or more, give yourself a zero. Let's just say in this case, it's three to 5% within the sweet spot, so they'll get one point. The next thing you wanna be looking at is really simple, BDA, business development area. If this property is in your core market where you're the expert, where you might try to be looking at building market share, building your brand, building your profile, if it's in that suburb, give yourself two points. If it's in the suburb next door to your BDA or farm area, give yourself one. And if it's like out of area and you're driving for about half an hour or more, give yourself a big fat zero. Let's just take for the example of this one, it's two. Next thing you wanna look at is commission. If you get your full freight on this property, give yourself two points. If you're like, maybe that could be 2.2%. If it's somewhere between say 1.75 and 2%, so it's close to where you normally charge full freight, give yourself one. And if it's below, for example, 1.75%, which is way below what you would normally charge, give yourself a zero. In this case, let's just take an example. They just needed to reduce the commission a little bit, not too far away from their full freight, but they got one point. And the last one is marketing, yeah? So with marketing, think about it like this, really simple. 2%, you got vendor paid upfront advertising, meaning they've got skin in the game. They've like put their money out here because they wanna sell. Give yourself two points. If they're the type of client that says, can we pay our marketing, for example, at settlement, right? Give yourself one. And if they're the sort of people that say, I'm not putting any money into marketing, you pay for it. And if you pay for it, give yourself a zero. So let's just go with this one where they've paid up front because that's what we want our clients to do is have some skin in the game to increase that motivation, give yourself two points. So in a total of a whole 10 points, you can see here, it's an eight out of 10. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you want to be doing is dealing with properties that have seven points out of 10 or more. Anything less than that, this is what you're gonna start working with and you need to be aware of it. You're gonna be working with what we call high maintenance, low return clients. So if you've got like a four out of 10, let me tell you, and you've got about six of those properties that are four out of 10, five out of 10, guess what happens? You get up out of bed and you don't wanna to go to work. This is about getting excited about the work that you do. One of the things is don't choose anyone to work with, choose the people that you wanna work with. They're the people that are low maintenance but high return. They're not the type of people that'll do your head in. They listen to you, 
They're willing to pay your full freight. They're willing to go with a marketing campaign that you want. And if they're a seven, eight, nine out of 10, guess what? You've got a very low maintenance, high return client. And they're the clients that you wanna be working with in this marketplace. So start rating, reviewing, and analyzing and scoring each of your listings each seven days, especially in this marketplace. Because if you're not coming up with strategies and ideas to try and get them from a four to a seven or plus, you're gonna be stuck with those clients that we call high maintenance, low return clients. You may wanna check out this episode. Da -na 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 -na. Ha, 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 ha